you have some dizziness. Can you tell us about the dizziness? It's just uh, like everything's spinning. I mean, um, like the room is spinning? Yeah. You know. In certain positions? What, what happens when you turn it in certain positions? Uh, it gets worse. Okay. All right. So we're going to do what's called the Hall Pike Dix Maneuver. And, um, and so if, uh, we're going to videotape that and see what happens, okay? to this side for us. So what were you feeling when we had you over towards the right side? Really dizzy. Okay, and the room was spinning. Okay. All right, we're going to be doing the Epley maneuver, and uh, so go ahead and explain um, the step by step here. Okay, so first you're going to have the patient just sitting like this, just upright on the bed, and you want to have a pillow underneath where the shoulders are going to be, so that his head's going to be hanging off the edge. So after we wait 30 seconds with his head turned to the right, 45 degrees, then we're going to lay him down for 30 seconds with his head in the same position, just over the bed. We're going to wait 30 seconds there and then have him turn his head 90 degrees to the left. So he'll be facing 45 degrees to the left for 30 seconds. And then we'll have him turn his body so that he's lying on his left in the left lateral decubitus position. And after he's in the left lateral decubitus position for 30 seconds, then you sit him up and he can turn his head back to the front. And hopefully that will displace the otolimpus. So we're just going to lay back and we're going to keep your head looking the same direction, okay? All right, I'll help guide you. Now just turn your head this way. There you go. And leave it there for 30 seconds. In the same position, but you want to be laying on this side, okay? So just kind of turn your whole body. There you go. Keep your head looking that way. Good. Okay, and we can actually face you forward when you sit up. And hopefully you'll get some relief. 